I wanted to play this short video, two minutes and one second long, on Amalek and Western civilization from the Global Tolerance Project. Negative commandment 59, that there's a mitzvah and a command to wipe out from among all the descendants of Esau, the descendants of Amalek, male and female, young and old. What is Amalek? Says Hasidus, Amalek represents the concept of doubt. They put a doubt into everything that you want to do. That is why they're so evil. That is Amalek. And that is why Amalek is so terrible. And it has to be totally uprooted. Therefore, God tells us we should erase their memory. And we should eradicate them from the face of the earth. So when a Jew enters into Eretz, into the land of Israel, what should he do? The first thing, appoint a king. Step two, destroy Amalek. Who is Amalek? Amalek comes from Esau. Esau was a brother to Jacob. Esau, who in modern day terms is really basically, uh, you know, uh, certainly one of them is, is, is America. Esau became Edwin, which is a nation. Edwin became Rome. Instead of it being Rome, it became Christianity. Christianity, of course, ultimately became Western civilization. So Ace of today is really Western civilization. But the Euro, the United States, but the Euro. Ace of is Europe, the United States. The throne of God is incomplete until we destroy Amalek. Any nation that has that religion can be considered Ace of. The audacity, the chutzpah to destroy Amalek and to cut off the offsprings of the nation of Amalek. And Safri goes on to say, how do, how do we do this today? What would be the most Jewish thing for the last Jew to do? The most appropriate and fitting thing? One said that the last thing that a Jew should do when he or she leaves Europe is spit.